hello. Oh, welcome. We are back building this world. There's a few things changed. Uh, first of all, continue to ignore what's happening in Magnolia Blossom. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but ignore what's happening right there as well for right now. That's going to be the next episode, probably. Also, I, the button household, I switched it over to another lot so because I thought it looked nicer there. I feel like this episode has taken me a, a while to do, and that is because of this build. This build build was a lot. It took a lot out of me. It was a long time that I had to make it. It was a lot. Now the family that lives here is a, a multiple things that we have talked about before. With the Buttons household, I mentioned that he had a rival artist person and that is who this man is. This is Cedric Cupcake. He is also a famous artist except he doesn't do classical art. He does like abstract and bright and colorful art as you might can tell from looking at him. He's got socks with sandals. This is his wife, Minty Cupcake, but she is not relevant. She's she is dead. We are. I'm. I forgot to do this beforehand, but uh, she is a ghost. She she is out of the picture. This is their daughter, Cherry Cupcake, and then they have two adopted twin sons, Axel Cupcake and Hubert Cupcake. Now Cedric is not just a famous artist. He is also the main guy of the illegal cupcake ring. He is the boss. He is the mastermind. You might could have told told that tell that by his last name, Cupcake. It gives it away a little bit, but luckily no one has figured him out yet. He is evil, creative, and gluttonous with the what is it? The painting the painting uh thingy. I forgot to do their write up and thing Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it now. Oh but they they have they still have custom whatever. Between being a famous artist and running an illegal cupcake ring on the side, Cedric doesn't have much time for his daughter, Cherry, which was fine enough with her until Cedric decided to boost his reputation by a reputation by adopting a set of twins, which he's just as neglectful of. Neglectful. Neglectful? Neglectful. Now Cherry is stuck raising her two new brothers in this chaotic household. So that is kind of the thing. The adoption happened because, it, you know, when you're running an illegal cupcake ring, you have to make sure uh, people think you're a nice person. So we adopted two twin sons, but he is very busy eating cupcakes and painting things and showing people the things that he has painted. So Cherry, it kind of ends up having to take care of having to take care of uh, her two brothers. We might also hire them a nanny. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of her having to take care of everything. So I don't think I want them to hire a nanny, although they can't afford it. He is both selling illegal cupcakes and famous works of art, so they certainly have money. So this is the house. This house was both kind of fun and kind of a pain to make. It's just a lot, but I, I like it. I think it came out. I think this build is going to end up being a, a fairly iconic staple in this let's play we have the nice fountain and he has there's like nice little garden this back section over here is pretty pretty bland because i just didn't know what to do with it also just imagine living in this neighborhood like you're just walking through the park and it's like oh what a lovely little park how pretty how nice how oh that giant pink box. I think that's really funny. Now inside, the house kind of doubles as a museum. So this front part right here is really just a museum of Cedric's works. His abstract pieces. We've got a lot of uh, things for him to paint on obviously that he hasn't yet because we haven't done that. But we have some of his pre-made pieces. We have the hat attack, the attack of the sandman, a uh, blue greenish thing, rainbow Christmas tree, ice birdie, stack of flamingos, paper house nail, and hand in a cage. I think this is going to end up being quite a party place. I think he's going to have people over a lot showing off his work and it's basically going to kind of like double
incredible as a museum. And then back through this door is their actual living space. This particular space was difficult for me because I just had trouble fitting his style into this. I personally like the way that it looks, but I don't, I just am questioning if it's exactly his style. I would live here. We got a big nice kitchen for him to make illegal cupcakes in, but he doesn't make them. Diego makes them. If we go up the big staircase, there's this little hallway area, and if you follow the little areas, it goes out to this tiny little balcony and some more painting things that I might switch out and make into big things, but mainly the space is just overlooking the museum section. And then these doors go back into more living space. This one just goes to this, uh, sta the back staircase. Over here is uh, Cherry's room. She is a bit of a tomboy, although he, is, he has tried to uh, make uh, more pink uh, influences, but it's not no avail. No avail. And then this is her bathroom on the side. The bathrooms are very awkward. Over here are the twins room, which I was going to decorate and make all night, but I got very sick of working on this house. And so I've decided they're new, so now decorating the room will become a game mechanic for when we start. Because they're new, so obviously they haven't had time to make up everything for them. Now up this other staircase, we have this little area in here that is is kind of like a little party area for Cedric to bring his guests. There is lots of drinks, there is lots of decoration, sitting area, more of his artwork on the walls. And then if you go through here into this little hallway thingy, you have Cedric's bedroom, the master bedroom. Which is very uh, interesting, but I did use this heart bed that from old Sims games that I got a mod for, and I thought if I didn't use it in this build, then whenever am I going to use it? And then he has uh, refrigerators in his room because he is very passionate about eating food. And then this is his bathroom, which I feel is like just off the mark from being a really good bathroom. I feel like I was almost had something here, and like I. Um, mm, it's just kind of awkward. It's the bathrooms in this place are in awkward shape. It's really quite interesting. There's also like a guest bathroom over here that I did not work on. Don't look at it. And then there is an, a, a balcony pool up here for more party times and then roof and there. This this build took a lot out of me. I feel building is not really my favorite part of The Sims anyway, but this one took a lot out. Mm. I've been I've been enjoying building for most of this save file, but I think after this one I might need a little bit of a break from building. Or maybe I'll wake up tomorrow excited to build all the rest of it and just build all the rest of it. I think breaks are going to be necessary with this series and everything because this is a lot of building and I think I'm almost done with the building mostly. I think most of the save file is done because I'm only doing Willow Creek and any other buildings that happen in the save file are going to happen through uh, gameplay. But like I just need to put something on one of these and then this lot is probably going to be uh, the last residential building that we have. I might put one more over on this neighborhood. And then we have these two boxes that I might just leave uh, unoccupied. Just go in and make an unoccupied house, which should be easy enough. This lot, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be a community lot. This one's going to be a big build, and this one is going to be a not so big build. And then we're going to have Sutburn right there, and then I have to finish that in the middle and that. But it's mostly done. I think most of the families are made like I still have to uh, make this Sunshar family and then I might make one more family uh, to live here maybe and maybe one to live in one of these two houses but I think again I think I'm just gonna make that unoccupied but I think like most of the cast work is done here it's just a little bit more build work and by a little bit I mean a, a medium to large amount. But breaks are necessary. Might be a little bit of time before the next episode of this series. I might or might not make a, another a type of video in between. But that's all I have today. These guys will be up on the gallery by the time this video goes out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked and subscribed and all of those things. Jesus loves you. Uh, goodbye.